They're on five news. Meteorologist Kayla Smith here with your hourly update on our winter storm. Taking a look outside of our local weather camps from all of our sponsors, we are seeing a lot of mixed precipitation right now across the area. You can see it especially outside of our Buckhannon Toyota weather cam with those uh, droplets on the camera. Let's take a look at the storm on the satellite radar. It is a massive storm. It is dumping a lot of precipitation as it starts to make its track back up towards the northeast and zooming in down on our area. We can see that we are well underway with this system. We are starting to see that mixed precipitation across much of the area as those temperatures are a little bit warmer right now, a little bit above freezing. We are under a winter storm watch until 1 p.m. tomorrow, so this is going to be a continuing system throughout tomorrow afternoon. Here a look, here's a look at those current temperatures. As you can see, some of these are a little bit above freezing. So we do also have some warmer air aloft that is creating that wintry precipitation as opposed to just snow. But over the course of the next few hours and into the evening, that will start to change over into more snow. Here is a look at the current wind gusts right now, seeing them more so in the higher elevations, but starting to see some popping up in the lowlands. These are going to increase as we get later on into tonight. We could be seeing those gusts as high as 35 miles per hour in the lowlands and up to 50 miles per hour in the higher elevation. So over the next 12 hours, Hours, we're going to see this system start to change over into snow, seeing the heaviest bands of snow overnight. That is when we're going to be seeing the most accumulation from this system. In terms of expected snowfall, here is the Euro model for that. We're seeing five to seven inches towards the west, gradually increasing up to about a foot in the higher elevations. Be sure to stick with us here on air as well as on Facebook for more updates on the storm.